Hi, beautiful souls. Today, I'm sharing some light on ascension with dogs. I came to this realization, this understanding, this insight um, quite some number of years ago because of my own dog, Boo Boo. And I had done so much work looking for ways to assist him to become more relaxed, calm, a peaceful dog, going to lots of different dog trainers, um, taking multiple courses myself, uh, canine behavior training, dog training, animal communication, canine flow, and you know, becoming fully qualified in all of those, in all of those practices, because I needed to understand better what was going on. And what I found out was that you get the dog you're supposed to get, and the dog that you get is a reflection of who you are being in that moment, because we are creating everything that surrounds us, whether we're aware of it or not. And because of that, it also is a way that we can help ourselves to become more conscious and more aware. So our dogs literally come in, the great companions, but they are also the most suitable and suited animal on the planet that can help human beings to ascend their consciousness and to become more aware and grow. Now, I should imagine that this is also the story for parents that have children. Uh, they would probably see a lot in their children that will help them to grow and expand and uh, their consciousness too. Um, but I don't have children. And besides, we're not talking about children. We're talking about animals. Now, there will be other animals that can do this too. But ultimately, we have dogs um, in our homes. So we have good contact and good um, relations with dogs as companion animals. Cats, not so much because cats are a lot more independent. They are able to get away from human beings, uh, take themselves off outside and so therefore they don't really display as many behavioral issues as a dog might if a dog is out of balance and a dog can only really become out of balance if it's had close contact with human beings so for all those people out there that want to say oh no but my dog is like this because i got this dog from a rescue and blah 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 you only get the dog you're supposed to get and you can't get it wrong. You can't get it wrong. You get the dog you're supposed to have. And so if you have a dog that has some issues, it's because that dog is, is giving you one of those, um, I don't know what you call them, those funny things what you speak through and then a mega horn. Is it a mega horn? What, what, what? Uh, one of those things and telling you, you've got some stuff. Let's work this through. So we have this incredible friend at our sides and sure you can go to uh, a dog trainer and you can do all sorts of dog training, you can do all of that, but you're missing the point, you see. If you just do that and stop there, what will happen, and you, you don't have to believe me, you can go within and you can find out the truth for yourself, but what can happen is that you're losing an opportunity where you can grow yourself as well to help your dog. So what happens is that if you're not really conscious, when you return to the next life, anything that you haven't quite mastered or anything that you haven't quite understood in this current lifetime will be amplified in the next. So you kind of want to address everything you possibly can to make a sweet way for your soul's expansion because we are so much more than this physical life right now right now we're given these incredible human bodies to live these wonderful lives with but you know it's not just this lifetime 
you can live this lifetime as if it was your only one you can certainly do that you can do whatever you like but from my perspective and from what I've come to know as true for me from doing not only inner work but also doing uh, journey work adventures and integrating um, my divine aspects then I know it really really does assist us to take on board any situation where there's some interest and embrace it with a loving heart a loving open heart and work with it and so this is what what dogs really are helping us with when you have a dog that has any kind of issue any kind of behavioral issue it is an ex wonderful opportunity for you to expand your own consciousness it's a wonderful opportunity for your dog to help you to get a message through to your highest well for your highest self to get a message through to you by uh, the assistance of your canine friend and the other thing is is that you might look at your canine friend and think oh yeah dog 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 but there's so much more to dogs than what you see on the surface and that's something else that I've come to find the truth for myself like going within and traveling galactically to discover the origins of dogs and how we are all interrelated we are all different aspects of one another and so we embrace this is what we do when we are are um, wanting to become better beings better beings whilst we're here is that we embrace any situation no matter what it is we know we can handle it because we of course we're going to handle it but we embrace it and and we take it as like a gift dogs are enormously wise beings and there is so much more to them than you might think so next time you look at your dog say thank you say thank you for being here with me at this time because goodness they have to be pretty brave to come here at this time to be with you or at any time throughout history to come to the earth plane knowing that they would not be able to communicate uh, in the same way with with the, the with the humans um, I mean it takes takes a lot of courage so no matter what you've got going on with your dog right now if you work on yourself and if you work on your own um, limitations and work on your expansion then you will help your dog to change and you won't even have to do anything it's it's true it's true but the thing is as I know a lot of people like to do things with their dogs and that's fine you can also do things with your dogs as well but I just want to say dogs really can help humanity to ascend and right now there's a lot of dogs that have come in at this particular point uh, light workers as well that have come as dogs in this now to help as well thank you very much for watching and sending you all lots of love